All right, guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to talk about hikikomori, which is a Japanese term for people that um, disassociated from society and, you know, they stay at home every day, all day, and they don't want to go outside. They like to spend their time at home by themselves and uh, disassociate themselves from other people from the society and then they get used to it you know uh, so, all right I'm gonna go through a few papers or articles several withdrawal is total withdrawal from society and seeking extreme degrees of social isolation and confinement hikikomori refers to both the phenomenon in general and the recluses themselves described as loners yeah I heard it used to mean something else, um, but then it changed. Hikikomori can be triggered by a variety of factors, including social anxiety, depression, comedic pressure, and bullying. Basically, disassociation. And <clears throat> some of these papers, like, call it a uh, psychological like disease or something something nonsensical like that but everything has a reason and this has also a reason if you know how the uh, human psyche works it totally makes sense for people to be this way uh, especially in Japan because the culture in there is a certain way uh, that um, you know this is one of the ways a person might deal with such pressure in 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 such culture okay, Tokyo Japan nearly 1.5 million people have withdrawn from society yada yada I don't know I, I like I'm so lazy with reading I don't care enough and and you know there's so much information that you don't really you cannot really spend much time on um, unimportant topics like this is an important matter but the the things that people write it's mostly um, compromised and garbage because most people don't understand psychology or or they are paid to deceive others you know these articles this information on the internet is very yeah i wouldn't trust it that easily uh okay so this these are some percentages i am usually at home and only go out for things related to my hobbies right i am usually at home and go out for things like the convenience store in my neighborhood yeah, that's you you gotta buy food i leave my room but i do not leave my house i barely leave my room yeah some people um get so extreme that they don't eat and they die of hunger i've seen like some videos you know i was when i was interested by this phenomenon i used to watch videos like how people got into such situation you know some interviews yeah, their life stories and the thing is the human psyche works like this when you get used to something um you know it becomes your lifestyle you know at first it's a habit and then it's easy to stay that way and if you disassociate from other people it's easy to uh, gain this social anxiety you know get very afraid of other people and, and be nervous but you can get back into society if you spend more time in society you'll get used to it again but it's sort of a conflicting like a situation you know it's not comfortable but it's important it's necessary so yeah it's very easy to get dissociated from society because your mind gets used to things very easily if you do it for a repeated period of time and for a long period of time this further proves that we become what we do okay so let's watch some videos yeah sure and see cases of people for nearly three years yuto onishi's world was his bedroom with friends and family sneaking out only yeah, yeah, it felt safe here feel safe here 
he went outside. What's up with that? In junior high, Yuto had failed as a class leader. And to cope with the shame and judgment from others, he withdrew into... Yeah, they... Oh, I also got to criticize the Asian culture and... Um, in Japan, it's amplified. Well, Japan... Japanese people are... Special people in their own way. Like, they are unique. I mean, their sensibilities and behavior. It's in the culture. It's very unique. It's all on screens and not real life. Out of their rooms. They're in therapy to rebuild communication and trust. It's awkward. Intervention. It's quite awkward. The missing reality for Japan is that most hikikomori remain in their rooms. Yeah, yeah. And nobody really knows about them. They might die. Well, I guess it's finally time Wait, this to is say not... goodbye. Wow, I, what the I can't heck? really believe it. We've been through so much Oops. together. Who does Ash marry? Pokemon. This is not it. Japan has a problem. I'm gonna watch that later. Thousands though. of young men who lock themselves away in their bedrooms, sometimes not leaving their homes for decades. They're yeah, for real, for real. I've come here to meet women. Don't have any. Oh, for the last shoddy. six months, she's been working with a recruiter. Yeah, these guys and like two years when you were Hikikomori. You can see his physiognomy that he is weak. He jerks off very often and very sleazy. Like uh, I'm sure like. Of course, you won't respect yourself because you are a weakling. Like you, de you do these nasty things. You've see, he does what the fuck, wasting his time. Every case is different. This is like rent a sister, coaxing Japan to keep many men out of their bedrooms. They got these programs. But she's hoping that soon, which is kind of nice, but uh, not ideal. All right. Out of homeless people. There's a case where this guy was a hikikomori and she she was trying to help him like doing her job and they fell in love or something and now they are gonna get married or something completely hopeless like there was nothing i could do yeah hopeless hopelessness I right when you are withdrawn from the society nobody cares and it's easy like i mean it's hard for a person to really find his place in society again and i think there are people all around the world that um, are in this position. It doesn't have to be exclusive to Japan. Many other people find themselves in this position where they withdraw from society and it's hard to get back if you don't work a job. Like it's slavery basically. It really damages your health, mental health and wastes your time and drains your energy. It's crazy. And it's not like people are soft nowadays. No, people back then used to get paid. Um, the currency was worth like, I don't know, 40 times more or something like it's nuts. So you basically get paid pennies compared to what people got paid before. And, you know, the governments like lured people into big cities to work jobs. People used to be self-sufficient in farms and be all right. But no. The governments wanted people to be dependent on the system, feeding the public. And now people forgot how to be self-sufficient. They don't know how to garden, how to raise animals and stuff. It's by design. So yeah, Can't this system is trash. All right. Because I didn't want to stay at my parents' house. I didn't think much about it. I yeah, just yeah. Parents can be so damaging. Like they don't even realize how bullying and psychologically damaging it can be to their kid usually asian parents don't realize that kids have feelings they don't understand how to treat how to raise their kid they just follow rules that's the issue with asian people they are the race that follows rules the most the system they are obedient to the system they trust it so much because that's one of their strengths once they get a hold of a system they operate in it the most efficiently than anyone else because they get a hold of it. They understand how it works, like understand patterns and um, yeah, they find ways to operate efficiently in it.
But this system in which we all operate in, not just Asia, is built to abuse its people. So you trust an abuser. Trust a system that's abusing you, that doesn't care about you, your health, your wealth, your well-being. Isn't it crazy to trust someone like that? Something like that. But no, they ha they have it so ingrained in their genes, in their like culture. I wanted to be away from my parents. His future wife, Ayako, the rental sister. <laughs> I had a strong feeling of camaraderie towards him as a rental brother. You start held a celebration. Oh, he became a rental brother. They're working together now. Yeah, man's one in life. Sheesh. Well, yeah, you know, there's a happy ending, right? To this tragic phenomenon. And Japanese culture, they are very, like, next level um, rule abiders. I don't know. Uh, my vocab sucks. Yeah, they really follow the rules the most. Like they, they take honor and politeness and all that thing to the maximum level. And you know where it got them? In a capitalistic system that hard work is still pushed and pushed to the limits. How much they can work. They are hard workers for sure. And they can endure a lot of stress and a lot of you know, unhappiness. Just if they think they are doing the right thing. They are doing what they're supposed to be doing. But no, the system abuses that. Feel me? Um, but they are very disciplined. And also there was this issue where men are afraid to cold approach or ask a woman out because they don't want to make a situation awkward, you know? It can be awkward, but yeah, and that's what's stopping them from making a, a controversy or like risking. But this way, you know, they just cope and they just, they are very like uh, self-aware, too self-aware. But women want to get approached sometimes, but they don't want to bother, right? I don't want to bother you. Oh, if I'm bothering you, kind of like mm, pussy. But that's how Japanese culture is. So I'm going to talk about the issues in, with Asian culture in a future video. Because it angers me. You know, I've seen it. I've lived it. And I've, I've noticed the discrepancies the the downsides asian people need to step up i'm gonna try to do my best to you know wake up whoever listens to me but asian people need to wake up because they are so weak unaware and, and like uh, i don't know but yeah it's hikikomori um it's not a disease it's very very relatable i used to be in such pos position and I got out of it just by sheer will. You can reprogram your mind. You are what you do. And if and everything you consume becomes a part of you, becomes you, basically. So consume not only in a form of food, but also in a form of content through eyes and ears. And also touch. We got these six senses, right? five or six i don't know yeah through these senses we consume we absorb information and that builds your mind like uh, subconsciousness your perception your convictions your beliefs all these things and let me tell you you can get out of any situation if you have the right mindset which needs to be built and you can build it if you care enough you can build it by what you consume so the thing is the Japanese people they got all these this culture of um, convenience of uh, you know <laughs> adult adultery that keeps them weak it's convenient but it's not right it keeps you stuck and it's undeserved now they have these toys all this fantasy this this fake you know pleasure 
and they don't do the right thing. That's why the population is declining, because men are weak. When you, um, you know, jerk off, you make yourself so weak. You don't even understand how it impacts your behavior, your everything, you, your your life, and you need to have a certain level of strength and power for women to give you a chance. So if you find yourself in such position, believe me that there's a way out. Uh, I'm a living proof of that. Well, right now I'm kind of like that, but my mindset is so different that I am not like that. I'm just a per person that's not a hikikomori in a hikikomori situation, but I don't even view myself like that because every day I'm doing something. Going outside, going to the gym, like going and uh, meeting people like uh, on events, and then getting a job and then the mind is so powerful, you don't even realize it. Your mind creates your rea reality. The world follows mm. what your mind allows into your life. So yeah, I think that's it. Hey, thanks for watching.